Well, the Python problem is getting closer and closer to home here in Central Florida. We told you at 10 how the apex predators are getting closer to our home here. Fox 35's John Brown went with some local hunters to take part in the Python challenge, and he spoke with a tribe in the Everglades about the pythons to see what this invasion really looks like. It's part of their livelihood is to protect the Everglades. And so the pythons are creating havoc on the ecosystem. And they're part of the ecosystem. So it's personal. It's personal. Getting rid of the massive snakes means a lot for the state of Florida. But for the very private Miccosukee tribe, it means everything. Even within their constitution, it's written that they have to protect the Everglades. The tribe has never spoken with the media about the snakes because it's a bit taboo. But the problem is so bad now, they finally agreed to talk for the first time. Meet Hector Tigertail. He's a 15 year old Miccosukee tribe member. Our culture depends wholly on the animals and the land. So so the, what these pythons are doing is killing all of our sacred animals from our deers, alligators, and, well, our livelihoods, honestly. The tribe has made their home in the Florida Everglades ever since the Indian Wars of the 1800s. And life has been relatively unchanged until recently. Without the land or any animals, honestly, we wouldn't have a tribe. We want to have stories to tell. The Miccosukee used to hunt for their own food, but it's all gone. So the tribe is now trying something new to get rid of the snakes. Um, all right. Meet Shato. Shato, sit. You ready to work? Let's go. We decided to do this because you can't find them otherwise. They're so cryptic, and um, the dog has such better smell than we do. Mm -hmm. And so they can find snakes that you can't see. Shadow means snake or python in Swahili. And he's proving to be very good at what he does. And so with the youth, use of the dog, the Miccosukee has have found the biggest python that's been caught. How big was that? It was just a little over 20 feet. Capturing one python is great, but capturing a female is like catching 100 pythons all at once. We take him out um, a lot of the time during the breeding season. Um, and when the pythons are nesting, because the pythons will actually nest underground, and so we can't even see them. Wow. And so the dog will actually detect them, will alert to the python, and then we'll dig it up. And that means a new sense of hope for the Miccosukee Indians, because this is about saving the animals, the ecosystem, and ultimately, the tribe. It just doesn't matter to me. It matters to my bloodline and my heritage and other natives, honestly. Without this, I wouldn't really have a purpose to be on the earth. All right, John Brown joining me now. John, this is so fascinating, but oh, it was. tell me, what was the most interesting part of this hunt for you? Okay, so Everglades are massive, uh -huh, right? And yeah. you're out there in the middle of the Everglades, and there are no animals left. I mean, you can see in the video that we have behind us, we were out in all these remote areas, and there's absolutely nothing. Marley said there was one story in particular that stood out. In addition to standing out there in the middle of the night and not hearing any yeah, sounds, crazy. is we were along this little trail here, mm -hmm. and that's where some of the guys that are locals will fish. And there was a little pile of trash there. There. and there was a, a bag of fast food and there was a burger sitting beside it and the burger was still there and you could tell that it had been there for quite some time so instantly that, re that made me realize there are no rats to eat this burger there's nothing there's left no nothing. they have devoured everything and that's the scary part and that's the story we did at 10 o'clock is when they're out of food they're gonna start moving north and that's when it gets scary because they're gonna yes. move into population yes. centers yes. because south you know a little bit south of where we are right now you get into some towns and that's oh, gonna get scary yeah. and as a parent I mean it makes you concerned with your kids playing outside right, because pythons don't know they just strike at whatever comes mm -hmm. and then they coil so they don't know if it's a deer if it's a uh, if it's a squirrel if it's a person who out working so it's a real issue now how we solve it we don't know maybe the dogs like shadow will work yeah. um, but at this point there's no good solutions but just know this python challenge that they have is probably gonna have to move north because they're moving north as well all right well only time will tell that's for sure john thanks so much sure. for staying up with us tonight mm.